All right, guys, I'm back out of it today. We're gonna see how effective these lure tents make a difference in catching, so. As an angler from a saltwater background, there's a few fish that I can confidently say uh, have an effect to have some sort of scent uh, to assist your catching. Others, not so much. So, um, let's, uh, just, let's just see what kind, how much our catch goes up with uh, adding some scent to these uh, Mackinac lures and see, see what's doing. Right, let's man up a little bit here. South five, my ass. Pretty sloppy out, man. Uh, hung around some non-productive areas for an hour. It's, it's moving pretty good, but we got this. Just not quite as uh, enjoyable as I'd like this fishing to be. A little bit more victory at sea-ish for a kayak. Finger Lakes are very uh, hard to really judge what these weather forecasts want to do. Uh, you see five miles an hour, yeah, sometimes you can add another five to ten. Just seems to like to to roll on you a little more. You know what I'm saying? Fished here last year a couple times. Got a couple tracks. Means I caught some fish there. We're gonna load this up with some of this Procure Alwife. Alwife. It's fishable on a one ounce Mackinac in 40 feet of water, so a little shallower. All right, let's get this party started, man. Got him. These fish are fired up here. It's my third cast. Maybe fourth cast, but first couple casts. What's that? What's the flavor? Oh, that's a nice like return. It's a hammer, dude. That's a good one. Really nice lake trout right there, man. Oh, boy. Hey, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, we got him, man. I think my drag's pretty tight today. Woo, that's a good one, man. I need to turn myself around. Oh, man. Solid lake trout, man. The hook popped right out for me at the end there. Woo. All right, guys, we got ourselves a real nice, got ourselves a real nice laker right there, man. He's a handful. Uh, if it was a little nicer, I'd take a measurement and get an idea, but this might be the biggest one of the trip so far. Yeah. Cold water, they go quick. Let me see if I can get back on them. Let's add some more of this Procure. Give us another go. Just need this wind to lay down so I can work this without getting my, my teeth kicked in too bad. Got a nice smooth ledge that has a, just a really good drop off from 30 to 45 feet or so. So it seems like these fish are kind of orienting to that. I had like one hit as the lure was coming down, so Kind of might have gave it away a little bit, not too much, but that this was a good zone. No, maybe this procure makes a difference. I, I'll tell you what the big difference is today. I haven't marked any fish here. Oh my gosh, he's gonna go nuts. 
Last trip, I marked fish everywhere. So far today, the sonar has been pretty empty. I'm just kind of drifting and jigging a little blind, I'd say blind for the most part. But yeah, there's a few fish here. They seem interested in the, what I'm using right now. I've had like three or four bites so far, so definitely getting bites. Size is great, man. What a class of fish it seems to be around right now. I really want to start adding more variety to the mix, but sometimes you can't just you just can't beat catching fish. Yeah, man. All right, it's calming down a little bit, thankfully. This is an average size Finger Lakes Lake Trout right here. About five, six pounds. Okay, let her board a little bit here. I'd like to get some variety going, but hey man, sometimes you just gotta stick to what bites, experiment a little bit. Yeah, that's average size. They've been all about, a lot of them have been this class, which is 27. I wouldn't be surprised that other fish I let go a minute ago was a 30 inch or so. Good size, man, good size. All right, let's get back up on that 40 foot zone. 40 was it? Oh, laid down so quick, man. I'd say in 30 minutes, went like that. Got something floating here. Is that a bird? Dock line? Fish? No idea, we're gonna find out though. Lake trout. Somebody didn't want them for dinner. Maybe the lampreys got them. So I'm really just looking around for any feature, man. That's the only strategy I've got here. Because if I find a feature, I'm gonna stop on it. There's, you know, it's like 100 feet right there. But I gotta, if I find a pot of bait, maybe like a lump, I'll stop and fish it. But I'm really just slow cruising here, hoping to find something. I haven't seen a fish on this sonar yet today. So two fish on this, this Procure stuff. It's already making me kind of happy. That Maybe that does make a difference because usually I do typically see a good sign of encouragement when it comes to this lot of fishing. To see nothing and catch fish, that does make me a little, it does make me a, kind of a believer right off the bat. So it seems like when the lake was rolling pretty good, um, I had bites. I haven't had a bite in like two hours, man. Come on, Procure. That's scent, baby. Scent is key. Put a fresh lather of scent on there. There we go. No variety today. Straight Laker shakers. It's a nice feeling fish. He's doing those twirls. Hey man, I'm letting you run if you want to. It doesn't seem like he does. Ooh. Fat boy though. Oh, there he goes. Figured out which way to go. Oh, dogging me. I hope we don't get no thunderstorms here, man. One from wind to afternoon thunderstorms. Is that how this one's gonna go? That's a nice size lake trout there. Oh, man. Okay, another one in the net. I created a mess. This net's not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. 
it's it lays nicely on the bow that's why i like it but all right good size lake trout there all right oh. get that scent bite on this one's a wild fish he's got all his fins on him so this one's wild so they hang out bye guys you know what my take is on it though i haven't marked a single fish all day I think this scent stuff's really important for a lot of fish. Trout might be another one that I'm always going to be jigging with this Pro Cure, especially if this bite's tough. And right now it is. I'm honestly in this area looking for less for lake trout and looking more for salmon and brown trout, but I spent a lot of time looking. I didn't see them. I even trolled a little bit for an hour. Not a tap. So really the kayak and this type of fishery is the, the bringing the knife to the gunfight. I would say truly have quite a few more advantages with a boat here these lakes are both over 30 miles long so there's areas that are fishy but at the same time trying to do it this way is not easy if you like a challenge though man this is a challenging fishery on a kayak as challenging as it gets in my opinion today whether it's a placebo or not every little trick helped because today is a day i would have easily been skunked I mean, easily. I didn't see a single fish on this fit sonar, and I luckily picked a couple fish on this ledge that have been drifting for the last hour. And I caught three fish, and they were all good size. So the benefits of having this stuff around, and I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, I don't really care. I feel like it helps my confidence when the, the bite's tough that you're doing everything you possibly can to get the most amount of bites. And on a day like today, I'm sure glad I had something, at least hopefully keep my morale up. And there's so many of these scents out there. There's Pro Cure, there's uh, Dr. Juicy Juice, uh, there's uh, Gulp is a scented bait, there's Fish Bites. We can go on and on. But really, the point I'm trying to make is um, there's days where having everything in your book. It's going to make you catch more fish. In my opinion, this is, can be the, one of the most challenging fisheries uh, there is. This um, open water uh, salmonoid type fishing from a kayak is, you know, without trolling. Uh, trolling, even trolling isn't easy on the kayak to get fish, but um, to do it the other way with the jig is even harder. And sure, there's easy days like anything, but the average day is not easy with this sort of fishery. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's why you'll, you'll probably have... Um, places to yourself for the most part because it's difficult. Got pretty warm out. Roller coaster of weather today. Uh, started out super rough. The fish at least see, looked like some fish wanted to bite when I was just blind casting in some of that rougher water on that ledge. I'm gonna head back to the car, check the video's description for links, everything we used. Running with this van for um, 3,000 and uh, this 15 pound Berkeley X9 on. I run a 12 pound liter to my jig direct. And yeah, that's a Jigging World Night Ranger. That's their custom rod. I think they'll be having them, these blanks back in stock soon. I've been out of stock for a while. You know, I had to work for those fish, so I kind of want to show a different side of, uh, of the difficulty of this fishery, how it can be from a kayak. Got super lucky on some circumstances today, but I had to put so much time in out here and absolutely grind. So keep that in mind, man. That was, that was pure work. <laughs> it was enjoyable to pay off, but uh, an insane amount of work to get those bites today. So, <laughs> I know that doesn't bode well in the YouTube algorithm to explain how, how much work a day on the water can end up being to get a scrap a catch together. Because it's supposed to be instant gratification fishing, right? So, But thanks to everyone who watched, and I'll catch up with you guys on the next video.